We're back on 11 to last 20, and before we dive into the top three field hockey players on our countdown, we have another sizable group of players who had fantastic careers in their own right, but just missed out on our list. Shot by Deneen Zuck. Shot on goal and, and, and goal. A very tough midfielder and Marissa Wechter. He's a very established player. Kristen Harris in the center of the field for Warwick. She's a very nice player. Megan Bemisterfer scores the goal. Nice play by Emily Bemis Duffer there. Number 10, Katie Huberoth at left mid, also a captain. That's Shanna Miscavige taking the free hit. Beautiful. That was number six, Mackenzie Ruth. Number three, Warwick's Kelly Wood, two-time All-American, back-to-back state champion with the Warriors. Kelly Wood, quick hands, great ball handling ability, and, and she used her quick hands to score a lot of goals. Was just oh, man. Took a shot. I was, that shot came very, very that quickly. Was that was number eight, Kelly, Kelly Wood. Wood. Not only at Warwick, but at Wake Forest. Good attack, great speed, great ball skills, and then a, a great tenacity. Great tenacity, just, man, just a go-getter. Kelly, Kelly Wood, Wood again. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's the fourth goal for Kelly Wood today. She totally did that one all herself. I mean, she did have a good supporting cast, but I think she was a key role in there, and I believe she was the, the Wood sister that has, has two state championships to her name. And there it is. IAA 3A state champions. It's just a testament to what what kind of athlete she is because then she went on to Wake Forest. In fact, when Wake Forest won their third consecutive national championship, she was a part of that team and she scored in that game to help uh, Wake Forest beat Duke three to nothing. So, you know, she uh, she didn't skip a beat when she went from Warwick to uh, to Wake Forest. She was a, a two-time first team All-American and an All-State player. So uh, there, there's another one on this uh, that was just an excellent player for Warwick. It's always nice to have a family when you have, they know that next year, okay, we get we get this, the next sister. <laughs> just a really, really nice kid to, to watch. I mean, she was, in my opinion, one of the, the best kids to come out of the LL League in that timeline. Number two, Kukalico's Dana Sensenig, 2003 LL Female Athlete of the Year, future 2008 Olympian with USA Field Hockey. Dana Sensnick was just a terrific uh, field hockey player, but more than that, all an all-around uh, great athlete. She was the top of her game in every sport she did. And as you mentioned, Dana Sensnick, 20 or more points in three of the last four games, leading scorer. She was so fast and strong and had some great skills to come along with that and to, to do that kind of stick work at that, her kind of speed. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, both teams, I think, really trying to work. There's user speed and use the fast yes, breaks. Very that's nice a really pass. nice play. There's nobody that works harder. Um, just an all-around outstanding athlete, but a competitor. Probably one of the, the biggest competitors I think I've ever had the opportunity to coach. The thing I remember about Dana is she was the key to that offense. They won the first section title in like 20 plus years at Cocalico, and her and that class really set the tone for us moving forward. I mean, that was the beginning of, you know, a lot of great success that we had. I remember watching her play, and I remember watching them win the section championship and qualify for postseason. And as a freshman in high school, you're already very impressionable. But seeing the command that she had and the control, and you know how much her teammates respected everything that she said, that's you know the type of player you want to emulate. That's what I wanted to be. Usually, you're going to find a team. Will They'll put their strongest player at that center midfield position, which Dana's playing. When you walk up and down the halls of Cocalco, especially when I was in high school, like she was the gold standard. You know, we wanted to compete like her, with her, against her. I didn't have the chance to do that, but you know, that's the, the level of competition you wanted to aspire to. Every female in our school looked up to her in basketball, track and field, and she excelled at all those things. And she looked so natural doing it, you know? You wanted to just look that effortless while you're trying to gas, you know, 30 yards of that last sprint. Um, and Dana did never look like she was trying. And on top of that, she was valedictorian of her class. Like, how do you find the time to excel in all these things, but also excel in school as well? Dana's story is interesting. She was headed to play basketball at Messiah, and then went to team camp and had some interest from the Old Dominion, Old Dominion field hockey coach and ended up having a very good career there and eventually playing in the Beijing Olympics. Nothing was more rewarding than watching Dana score her goal in Beijing, I believe it was against Spain. I mean, Dana was an outstanding athlete, a good field hockey player in high school, but became an outstanding field hockey player in post high school. She had a great, great high school and then also a collegiate career. Great, great athlete, great family, uh, great person. I'm very humble. Yeah, I remember her very well. Number one, Warwick's Alyssa Manley. 
2011 All-State and All-American, future 2016 Olympian with USA Field Hockey. Alyssa Manley was such a special athlete at Warwick, and it was kind of ironic because Warwick has had so many Division I field hockey players, you really didn't know how special she was. Oh, and goal, great shot. That was an absolute rocket from the top of the circle. Alyssa Manley on that goal. When you say Alyssa, and you have, you know, Olympic games on your resume, that's as good as it gets. Probably one of my favorite players ever to watch and cover. If there was one player on this list, because I'm a little older, that I didn't get the opportunity to play against, I am ecstatic that I didn't have to go up against Alyssa Manley. Great tackle there by Alyssa Manley. At the high school level, uh, Alyssa was a, you know, a tremendous athlete. She just could run and run and run and never get fatigued at all. And then, of course, her skill level was so high at a very, very young age. You know, history just simply went from there. You know, her sophomore, junior, and senior year, she was, you know, uh, All-State, All-American. She was the key to that team. Now, don't get me wrong, they had a bunch of other girls on that field, especially her senior class, who did very well. Um, but there was a definite difference on the field when Alyssa was on the field with them. That's Alyssa Manley, just sends it in there. Nice tap in by Emma Rissinger. I mean, what a way to end it for the Warriors. She won the Honda Sports Award at Syracuse during her career there. And she was the first player in any sport to ever do that. An incredible career. She played on Syracuse's team that won the national championship, which was the, uh, the first NCAA title for any women's team at that school. So, you know, she just did so many things well, both at Warwick, at Syracuse, and then, uh, you know, for the Olympic team. And the U.S. will get on the board early. There's only two Lancaster Countyans that have ever played field hockey in the Olympics, and she's one of them. It was so rewarding and so happy for her family to watch her, you know, take that path and take that journey and have the opportunity to play in the Olympics. She, you know, was an excellent asset to, uh, to the team, um, and it was nice to watch her through her U.S. journey. She's kind of that peak. I think she's the, probably the best player to ever come out of the LL League, in my personal opinion. Um, she was just the complete package, competitor and smart. And if I were a coach, I would have been thrilled to have one of her. You'd love to have 27 of her. So there you have it, Warwick's Alyssa Manley, one of the best field hockey players in our coverage area and number one on our list. Thanks so much for joining us today on 11 of Last 20. I'm Chad Landers. Come back next time as we dive into a new countdown and once again, see who's number one.